When you are busy doing a channel specifically for yourself or for your brand or for a company, you want to be able to have control over the fact that you are posting things and only you have control over that. But you want also a bit of feedback, see if people are reading the things, commenting and liking it. Uh, but it mustn't populate your space, your channel. So this is the way that you go about it. Say, let's say this is the channel we're going to work on. You tap on the name of the channel you've created. Then there's the pin. You tap on the pin. And there you will see a few settings that you can have access to. The ones we're going to focus on now is just looking at the top three, which is channel type. In this case, it's a private, which means you have to send a link to somebody. If it's public, they can get the URL, which will be t.me forward slash and the name of the channel. And then just the next one is discussion. And you see it says add there. We're going to go to that. And that's what we're going to spend a little bit of time on. And below is sign messages. So this one is if you're managing the group and specifically admins and you're doing posting, you want to see which of the admins are busy posting. You could flip that little switch there. Okay, so we're going to look at discussion. And what discussion is, is the ability to create a dynamic where the post that you put on as the admin into the channel is published there. And you can do it as per normal. You can use a, a link. You can use an actual video, a photo, whatever it is. It, it works normally for you as the admin when you're posting it. But any of the people that are interacting with it they, if they want to make any comments in there, it's usually switched off. They have to just view the thing. So what we're going to do is switch on a comment feature. But to do this, what Telegram does is it creates or rather it uses a group that you create and links it to this channel. So it takes the group. It brings whenever somebody wants to comment, it takes the actual post you put in. It shows it to the end user and it gives them the option of responding on that. But everything that is responded to that post that you as the admin done will be kept in that group and it's kind of embedded and linked. So let me just show you, say under discussion, if I click add, um, you see there are other groups here that I could, if I tap on it, then this will become the group that is linked into this channel and it will store all the the interactions that happen there. So I want to create a new one. So I'm going to say new and I'm going to give it a, a thing. Usually it's good to put, you know, comment and whatever the name of the group is. So if I want to put in comment, uh, let's say D R S T. Say that was the, the channel that I was working on. I can't recall what it was exactly. And then you can switch on auto delete messages, etc. Then you click the little check mark. And here again, remember what you are doing is creating a group like Telegram creates normal groups, but this is now embedded into this channel and it will be used for that purpose. So I, I as I mentioned before, you could use an existing uh, group, but I suggest you create your new one every time you're working with that specific channel. So I'm going to tick the box. And there we have it. Now, if we look, we're going to see under discussion, it says comment dash DRST. Actually, it was supposed to be what? <laughs> uh, CSPRM. Let me just copy that. Let me, for completion's sake, let me just go in here. I'm going to tap there again. And I'm going to tap on that. Can you see it comes to an actual group? And I'm going to just change the, the thing there to the proper thing. Let me just paste Let's see, did I do that correctly? Paste. There we go. Okay, so here you can see it's it's just a normal group, but it's now embedded in. So you can see at the bottom, it's saying you've changed the group name, etc. It works like any other group. Okay, but now that one is the one that we're going to dedicate and it's linked. You can always unlink this group and then create a new one, but pretty much that's how it gets created. Then at the bottom, it shows who can see the messages. So once you post as the admin into the channel, if other people are coming on, um, they can chat, tap onto the, the messages, the chats that are happening that's associated with that message. 
that you as the admin put in, or you can disable that for general public and only make it available to members. So the person has to join the group to be able to see the comments. So that's a kind of privileged thing you can choose. So you could flip that mm -hmm. on. And when you do that, um, you now have the option of approving members. Mm -hmm. So when somebody applies to come and become part of this channel, it will come for approval and you as the admin will approve them and then they become part of it. So that's a bit of access control. But I'm going to flip that off for now. And yeah, so we're going to go back on discussion. There we have it. Just the other thing is that if people are commenting on what you as the admin post, you want to give them the ability to text, which is what you've just done now with the discussion portion. But you also have the ability to let them react using emojis. So if you tap on reactions here, you're going to see it says enable and it will give you then a list which you can enable and disable. So if I put that on, yeah, you see there's a few, this thumbs up, thumb down by default is on. So if I don't want people to do thumbs down in the commentary, I can just disable that. So the only options are say thumbs up and a heart and fire, for example. So anybody that's doing the little emoji on a comment of the post that the admin put in the channel, you'll see these ones will become available. Okay, but I'm going to switch that off because I don't want to use that in this example. So that's how we're probably going to, uh, um, let me just see, yeah, I'm not going to get into any other settings there. That's going to be able to give you this comment area. So if I click the checkbox and go back, now I'm going to post something in here. And as the admin, you can post a URL, you can post a picture, you can post a PDF, anything. You, you work as per normal. You, the admin, you have control over what gets posted. If you create other admins, which you can do generally with uh, Telegram, you can then decide which aspects they are able to manage in the channel itself or if you were in, working in groups that would apply. But I'm going to just add something like, let's say I'm going to say hello and welcome. So I'm just putting a text in as the admin. Can you see what happens at the bottom? It says leave a comment. So anybody who comes here now and who qualifies to be able to leave a comment based on what I explained earlier can come and tap on leave a comment and it will take them to that particular comments group. Okay, I'm going to just type here and say, or oh, let me see, I can't put, yeah, it, it's a bit unfair for me to do this as an example because I'm an admin, I can send emojis, I can send stickers and everything because of my admin rights. But a normal user will not see the ability to even send stickers or emojis or voice notes that will all be blanked out. And they would only be able to respond with text because this, in this example, this is the only thing I've allowed people who come and access my channel to see. So I'll just say this is cool and post it. So now if I go back, you're going to see that is the post that the admin put in. And at the bottom, you see there's one comment. So in this way, you as admin, you are posting all the time and your posts go underneath each other. And everything else that is commented, thumbs up and that sort of stuff, uh, based on what you allow, is attached to that individual post in a comment section. So it's kind of an Im that embedded group is attached. And you don't have to create a, a group for every post that comes in. It uses that one group that you've linked into this channel and it uses it to um, sort of control every post that the admin does. So even though it's one group, whenever somebody engages with each of your posts into the comment section, it only appears with the post and the relevant comments in that area. Really works cool. Um, if you if you master this here, you'll find out that you'll control your groups very nicely and you'll get great feedback because then you can see people responding and discussing things in these comment sections. But your channel remains nice and clean. So hopefully that helps you to run your brand or your company's uh, interactions on Telegram. So have a fantastic day. Be blessed and Shalom.